In this video, we're going to take a look at how to tie the prolong mat. Here you can see a 3 pass version of the prolong mat. As you can see, it is a rectangular mat which is perfect for hot dishes straight from the oven. The mat is sometimes confused with the ocean plate mat, but this mat has 4 outer bites on each of the sides. while the ocean plate mat only has three outer bites on each of the sides. To tie this mat, I used a quarter inch hemp rope and I used about 24 feet of it. So, this will give you enough rope for a three pass version. If you want more passes, you're going to need a bit more rope. Now, before we can actually start tying our mat, we need to take care of our rope. So let's take a look at how to do that. So the most important thing that you need to do to the rope is to whip the ends. You do that by either using a common whipping or you can simply tape them up and that will work just fine as well. If your rope frays and has little fibers sticking out, you can use some wax and then simply run your rope over that wax and that will smooth out your rope and make it much more decorative. So with that said, let's move on to the tying tutorial. To start tying, fold your rope in half. Grab your right end and twist it in order to create a loop. Pass over this loop and this creates a second loop. Then pass under your left end. With the very end of your right end, we're going to split these four parts of rope. So start with an over, then under over and under. We now have a pretzel shape, also referred to as a pretzel knot, and we're going to enlarge these two bottom parts. So simply pull in your working ends in order to enlarge them. Like this. Now place your working ends out of the way. Twist these two bottom parts towards the right side. Place your right end over your left end. Then grab your left end and start by going under, then over two and under one. Now grab your right end. and start splitting by going over, under, over, under, and finally over. The last step in creating this mat is to take one of the ends and place it next to the other end. This creates our last bite. Now, if you look at our mat, it doesn't look like much. 
It is over tightened, so I recommend that you grab one of the ends and work in some slack into the mat. Once you are happy with the shape of your mat, you can start doubling it. Take one of the ends and simply follow your other end. After you run out of rope in one end, simply switch to your other end. And again, continue following your other end. After you have worked in your rope and you have doubled, tripled or even quadrupled your knot, you are going to need to finish it. So we are going to finish it at the same spot, so if you have any extra rope, you are going to shorten it here and then re-secure that end using some tape or a whipping. After that we are going to stitch it up. This tutorial would not be complete without me showing you how to enlarge this mat. It is after all called the prolonged mat which implies that it can be made longer. So I'm going to first tie a basic prolonged mat and then I'm going to show you how to enlarge it. Once you have tied your basic mat, it is time to enlarge it. As you can see I did not add the bottom bite and this is because we are now going to enlarge these two bottom parts in order to make our mat longer. To do that we are going to work in our working ends and pull out the slack out of these bottom parts. We are now going to move our working ends out of the way, then twist these two bottom parts which we just enlarged towards the right side. Place your right end over your left end, then with your left end, the working end that is, Weave through starting with an under, then over two and under one. With your right end, again the working end, 
start by going over, then under, over, under, and finally over on the left side. The last step in this mat is to place your end next to the other end. And this creates your last bite. You can now start doubling it, tripling it and so on. And now you have a method of enlarging this mat to the length that you would like. To finish the mat, we're going to stitch together both ends in order to prevent our mat from unraveling. So what you're going to need is a needle and some thread. I'm now going to thread my needle. And on the other end, I'm going to tie an overhand knot in order to prevent my thread from slipping. We're going to do a fairly invisible stitch by going through two of the passes going up. Then we're going to turn down and go through all four of the passes. Then back up again over all four of the passes. And then back down two passes. Now you can lock off your stitching. I usually tie two knots in order to prevent my thread from slipping out. And then just work in your thread to the other side, so the bottom. And snip it. With that, you made sure that your mat won't unravel and your mat is ready to be used. Thank you for joining me in this tutorial and see you next time.